Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ECMDF and we'll finish up with the GFS ensembles and we'll have a look at the UK Met Office five day uh, forecast as well looking at precipitation and temperature. Now we do have a lot of low pressure around at the moment however the signal in only around four or five days is for high pressure to really take control from mid-month and it looks like it may be in control all the way until Christmas. Now yesterday's video we did have a look at the potential for it heading further north into Greenland producing some blocking that still is a potential outcome but at this stage it's just the high pressure over the top of the UK and just to our north is the certain part. We still have to keep an eye really what happens towards the last third of the month but I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be thrilled with some much drier and potentially sunnier and frostier weather as well. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link is in the description. So at the moment, you can see on the latest GFS, we do have low pressure sitting just to the north of the UK. Now, it's going to be pushing in some showers, especially into the west, but elsewhere, it's going to be reasonably, uh, reasonably dry, and of course, we're in a bit of a polar air mass, so it's pretty clean, nice, sunny air mass. Um, however, that's not going to continue for long, and um, by this evening, into tomorrow, uh, we're going to start to bring uh, mild air back in, potentially some more rain with that, and we've got quite a vigorous low pressure system towards Iceland, however it doesn't make too much of an impact on the UK. However, one thing we have to watch that I have said over the last few videos is this small low pressure that is developing within a kink of the jet stream, this little dip, and those little dips are typical with spinning up low pressures significantly. Now, on this latest GFS, we do see it spin up in quite a severe little low pressure system. However, it stays offshore and potentially only gives maybe some very strong winds for a time across the far north uh, west of Scotland, maybe parts of Northern Ireland as well, maybe some heavier rain with that as well, for it does eventually move away into the North Atlantic towards Iceland. Now, after that, into the middle of next week, you can see things are quite dry with a southwesterly wind. If we do have a look at the air mass, you can see it is reasonably mild. However, we're likely to see an inversion start going, which is where the surface temperatures get colder than the upper air conditions. Normally, it's the other way around. Surface temperatures are slightly milder than the upper air conditions. So, could be seeing inversion happen again. It all depends on exact wind direction, if it's more from a southerly direction, from like Spain, Portugal, with more... Um, moisture in the air it's likely to be um, a bit more of a milder air mass whether it's off the near continent where we've got colder temperatures especially towards eastern europe with that cold air moving through even though the upper air temperature it could be a bit milder towards the surface it may be still quite chilly with frost and fog around that high pressure just sits around really and you can see it really strengthens towards the middle of the month 1040 millibars potentially a little bit higher for a period of time and then we see it starting to ridge further northwards heading into the last third of December. Now, we're getting towards day 10, the uncertain time frame, and in yesterday's video, we saw the potential for it getting towards Greenland and seeing some potentially very cold weather. Now, on this latest GFS, we just see it continually sit over the UK, repeatedly trying to ridge towards Greenland. However, it doesn't really get there, and we actually see, for Christmas period, that bitterly cold air that could, and I mean could, be coming to the UK. It is heading into Eastern Europe, and we could be seeing a white Christmas for Italy, Greece, Turkey, all of these countries where we are seeing much colder conditions come through Eastern Europe, where the UK is likely to be just dry and frosty. Again, we're so far away at this stage, a good 10, 12 days away from this pattern starting to evolve, it could shift that high pressure could be further northwards, and that cold air could be coming to you, to the UK. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Run right towards the end of the run, you can see still that very cold air in towards Eastern Europe and Southeastern Europe, and the UK still under this ridge of high pressure. And that would be probably about 10 days straight under that ridge of high pressure. So we'll have to keep an eye what happens with this high pressure. I must say, if, if the cold weather doesn't come off, um, and we don't see cold weather towards the Christmas period or the last few days of December, which is a real possibility. But if it doesn't come off, I definitely think sort of dry, fine, frosty conditions are the, be the next best thing, really. Um, I'd rather that than seeing stormier conditions with more dangerous winds and heavy rains. So 
it doesn't look too bad for the Christmas period. At least it doesn't look like it's going to be a massive washout at this stage. I must say, though, the longer range forecasts, the signals from the climate drivers we have talked about in our winter look aheads over sort of October time all signal towards the potential for this blocking to go further northwards and for seeing a blocked pattern. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean colder weather because we are looking right now at a blocked pattern. The jet stream is not particularly mobile in the North Atlantic. However, it just depends whether it does bring us colder conditions. Now, if we do have a look at the GM, see how it does compare, you can see again a lot of low pressure around at the moment. And then we still see that small, vigorous low pressure system potentially develop through Monday, bringing strong winds for a time. And then eventually the high pressure builds towards the middle of next week, and we stay in a big ridge of high pressure. Now, towards day 10, the 20th of December, you can see a lot more amplification with this high pressure really trying to get going towards Greenland and you can see that cold plunge that the GFS had for Eastern Europe is further west and the UK along the eastern coast is starting to get a little bit of that colder air which will really be going towards Scandinavia, Germany and potentially parts of France um, and still parts of Central Europe so yeah we'll have to see really what happens the GM is showing this potential for the high pressure to get going towards Greenland again very fine margins, as there definitely does look like there will be a colder plunge towards Europe around the 20th to the 25th of December. Whether it's towards the UK or towards Europe, that is the big, big question at this stage. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare with the seeing the high pressure and that potential cold plunge. See, that vigorous low pressure system really does spin up by Monday. We'll have to keep a really vigorous eye on that. Uh, I don't suspect it'll be a named storm. But we could be seeing some morning spin of force, and because it won't be, it most likely won't be a named storm. I mean, Met Office or Met Erin may name it. However, if it isn't named a named storm, we could still see some strong gusts from that, and it may catch some people unprepared. So we'll have to look at that in a bit more detail in the next coming days and see if we do see anything from the Met Office in terms of warnings. Beyond that, we see the high pressure starts building towards mid month, really gets going, and does start to build towards Greenland at day 10. Now, it's not pulling anything too cold in at this stage. You can see the cold plunge starting to brew towards Scandinavia and Central Eastern Europe. And you can see the UK just on the periphery. We are starting to see a bit of an easterly flow, that cold race just to our north and east. And if we did get that high pressure just building a tad further northwards, we would start to build in some colder air. Now, of course, the UK will be probably, if we do see this colder air, be close to the high pressure. So it's more likely to be cold and frosty with quite low overnight temperatures and potential for some snow showers at times. Not a massive whiteout by any means. But of course, we're 10 days away from this potentially happening. So we'll have to keep an eye really um, on what happens. It's very much up in the air. But one thing I'm very glad is that it's not looking like it's going to be a low pressure fest. It does look like on Christmas or around the Christmas period, it does look like high pressure will generally be in control. And if we are seeing low pressure moving in, it's most likely going to be from the north or the east. I very much doubt we'll see anything from the west over the next two uh, well, for, oh, except for the next few days, of course, but beyond that, for the next sort of 10 to 14 days after that, I doubt we'll see much low pressure influence from the West. Now, if we do have a look at the GFS ensembles, you can see this well reflected. Pretty cold at the moment in terms of the upper air temperatures. We do have a chillier, colder polar maritime air mass. And then we rise up in temperatures and stay above, temp uh, above average all the way to around the 20th, 22nd of December few precipitation spikes over the next sort of few days as low pressure tries to push through but most of that precipitation will be falling in the north and the west and it will diminish there of course once that high pressure does build in now you can see of course yeah we have a milder air mass but of course inversion possible but towards the longer term you can see those really cold runs starting to appear getting down to minus five or below perhaps a third to a, a quarter to a third of the ensemble members showing something cold between the 20th and the 25th of december now of course doesn't guarantee snow by any means as i said it's most likely to be drier cold if we do see it but the trend is there for it to cool down towards the last five days of the ensemble run and of course, we'll have to keep an eye on what happens. Still, plenty of staying quite mild, so it's not definitive that we'll see colder conditions, but we definitely does look like we see drier conditions. And of course, that reaffirms it by having a look at the sea level pressure, where generally we are on the up, 
with high pressure dominating from around the 15th of December all the way to around the 21st, 22nd, when we start to see it dropping. But that is because of some low pressure outliers. But even then, those low pressure outliers are only getting down to 1,000, 10,000 millibars at the lowest, maybe one getting down just below 1,000 millibars, which really isn't that low, um, especially um, during the middle of winter, where we can see some vigorous low pressure systems like Storm Arwin um, that we saw that got down to sort of 950, 960 millibars, um, and Storm Bar as well, which got down to 950 millibars. So we're not going to be seeing anything like that, even if we do start to see a bit more of a low pressure influence. Now, if we have a look at Glasgow, see how it does compare further northwards. Now, of course, a bit more low pressure over the next few days, holding on to those low pressure systems a little bit more, and in the longer term, it generally does look very, very um, in control with high pressure from around the 16th 17th of December so a couple of days later than in the south but that high pressure will be coming and it's lasting all the way to the end of this current ensemble run and if we do have a look at the 850 HPA temperature and precipitation you can see a typical zonal sine wave over the next sort of five days up and down temperatures and then towards the 16th of December we see those temperatures stay above average and then of course in the longer term similar to London we're seeing some drop really quite cold down to minus five or lower and of course you've got those colder outliers really bringing in that bitterly cold air from scandinavia and eastern europe and in from russia getting down to minus 10 or minus 15 850 hpa which is bitterly cold generally though a good thing is that it does look like it's going to be reasonably dry from around the 16th of december onwards however we've still got a good maybe five days more of on and off rain at times so we do finish up, have a look at the UK Met Office run, see how that does compare. So you can generally see um, over the course of this afternoon, we saw a few showers in the east, but nothing too major, a bit wintry potentially for a time. Overnight tonight, though, weather fronts are pushing in from the west, potentially bringing heavier rain for a time through up tomorrow morning into the early hours of the afternoon. By the evening, it should start to clear from northern and western areas, but you can see across many parts of England and Wales, it is still got patches of heavier rain um, and that could mean it stays quite wet throughout Sunday morning then most of Sunday it does look like a generally decent day however you can see that really vigorous low pressure system right to the far northwest that doesn't make too much of an impact but potentially has some very strong winds and of course depends on its exact track as well and then through Monday some heavier rain potentially pushing into the south and then by Tuesday Wednesday some more heavier rain pushing in but high pressure will be soon pushing that away if we do have a look at wind gusts, actually briefly have a look at the potential for that really windy conditions through Sunday, you can see that real windy conditions brew up. Now, its wind span isn't great by any means, but potentially 100 mile per hour gusts on this latest UK Metaphors run. So we'll really have to keep a vigorous eye on this. I do suspect if this forecast does come off um, and this UK Met Office run is correct to an extent, we're getting 90, 100 mile per hour gusts, there will probably be warnings put in force for the far northwest of Scotland um, and of course could be named as well depending on its impacts. Now if we lastly have a look at the max temperatures, you can see this afternoon temperatures were around 5, 6 degrees, so pretty chilly. By this evening, maybe an isolated frost in the north and the far east, but milder conditions will be pushing in from the west. So by tomorrow afternoon in the east, maybe 4 or 5 degrees, but across the Republic of Ireland, it's 12, 30 degrees, seeing proper double digits, something we haven't seen in a, quite a period of time. Then through Saturday afternoon, uh, or Saturday evening into Sunday, temperatures staying in double digits in the south, really quite mild. And then as that low spins through, we'll see cold conditions and mild conditions sort of fluctuate, and temperatures going to be up and down. Maybe the isolated frost here or there in the north, but majority of areas will be in double digits, looking pretty decent indeed. So it does look like we'll see some unsettled weather over the next few days with the potential for something very interesting for Sunday evening with that potential storm especially in the far northwest. If you are in the northwest of Scotland or parts of Northern Ireland or western parts of Republic of Ireland, do make sure you do stay tuned to the weather warnings and I'll keep you updated as well on these videos. Elsewhere, there will be periods of rain around, nothing too windy at this stage, but it does look like by midweek or next week we're going to be seeing some much drier conditions take hold from the south which is going to potentially bring back some frostier conditions some dry conditions for all and the potential towards the 20th of december and beyond that towards the christmas period we could start to see some much colder conditions come in but at this stage that is uh, that is just one of a few options so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon